I did my favorite was uh, uh, Route One in California. Ah, okay, that's so a beautiful. I, yeah, I did San Francisco to uh, San Luis Obispo, like on the way to LA. Yeah. So we started off in Monterey and then drove down. And it was a Sunday, and all these car clubs were out. And yeah. but I, but uh, I mean, just even even like driving around, I did Spain, Portugal, yeah. uh, south of France last year. Is there a road trip that you want to do that you haven't done yet? Uh, Stelvio Pass. Ah, yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you say? In what car? This is what I have to ask you. It would have to be a, a GT Porsche. There are two petrol heads How in this car. Going? Slow is not an option. <laughs> you can do that also if it's in a nice... Yeah, I see Yeah, yeah, he won't see you. I was like, that's a front of the bus. Where is the sign? I don't know why they want to go, but... Maybe we just stop here. So my dad's always liked cars, uh, but he's always liked most things. He likes gadgets, so he's always had a keen eye for everything. And he's always liked driving yeah. a lot. So a um, lot of my childhood was road trips. You know, if, if we were going to Chennai, if he could help it, he would drive us there. He wouldn't fly us or you know, take the train. Uh, so I have fond memories of all that and I, I just see him really relishing driving. And, and lot, those days, I think, uh, you know, he would be shooting all over Kerala and driving up and down mm -hmm. and he might just drive in just for the night, see us quickly and then early morning again drive. Yeah. Which is a mix of wanting to see us and also enjoying the drive. Yeah. You know, so he... And another influence, my mum's brother is... A, I mean, obviously he also likes cars and planes and stuff. But he used to sketch cars. Wow. So I think okay. aesthetically, that was my influence. You know, from a, as a young kid, I started drawing cars a lot. Were uh, you sketching these upright cars or, was, or were you sketching these swoopy cars? <laughs> my cars are always boxy and mostly three box. <laughs> but uh, I mean, so all these influences were there. You've and got to share some of those original sketches. I'm sure you have some of them. They're there. I mean, so when yeah. I was in school, I used to constantly like draw them on the back with books. And then I think oh for, for, our, for our farewell, I think so many of my classmates were like, think you can just draw on our, on our books because that's how we remember you. Uh. And my teachers were flummoxed because there was like this girl drawing cars <laughs> in the back of my book. So I, I get you. I think, I think it's a common, common. Uh, yeah. Blood that flows through all of us, um, and always, you know. So there would be those world cars books yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that my dad would always get. So I, I used to love to find cars from all over the world. And India used to be so limited. So like every single import that I that would I'd see on the roads, I'd get really excited about. Uh, which is why I think when I started collecting, it's always those cars that I grew up uh, not seeing so regularly on the road. So 80s, 90s is big for me. Uh, and I always like to know a little story: who imported it, how did it come to India, where did it come from. And in those days, there were so few cars, right? There were so few cars and it took, it took effort, right? Absolutely. I mean, you know, like you had to be really passionate about it yeah. uh, to go through the whole import procedure. And then also to get parts and find the right mechs because there's no authorized service centers, nothing like that. Yeah, I remember my dad had an Alfa Romeo that came into the workshop and we literally went out every single night for a drive because it was like such a, <laughs> you know, like iconic thing to do. And you didn't see these cars yeah, before. Yeah. And I mean, it had those three black stripes painted on it. I still remember it till today. I feel like Delhi has a lot of these no. hidden gems, you yeah. know, like uh, from forever. Lots, lots, you don't lots see them out forever. much. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you're right because I, I, I really understand the passion of your dad. I believe the best way to see the world is through your windscreen. I've driven from Germany to India, India wow, to Singapore, okay. done all of that. And there's no other. You, you fly, you miss it all. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's the best way is to take a road trip. Let's take a road trip Let's now and we'll good. talk a little bit more on the way. Done. But I'm going to get you to drive. Okay, awesome. Done. I think we are good to go. Good to go. I'll just direct you. Yeah, we'll yeah. just go down that ramp only. A... Once we're out on the main road, I'll start chatting yeah. with you. Yeah. Also now in India, I feel like uh, there's so much of this off-roading culture, there is. especially it's, in Kerala, you see a lot of it. It's yeah. increasing and I'm, I'm really happy to see the amount of women that want to get into off-roading. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's really been a kick. I've done some couple of events with women over the years and they really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, one of the actresses recently I saw did like a whole off-roading yeah. course or something and then she put it up and I was like, I was, I was so surprised. I was like, that's so good. Yeah, it you is. Know, it's, a, it's a nice hobby to have. It's safe, it's contained, it's uh, it's usually in closed environments. Yeah, and you know. You're not really speeding. There's, well, you can do that also if it's in a nice. You're ranging. Yeah, <laughs> contained environment. Uh, you can do both of this, right? Way, right. Yeah. But uh, also like, I keep hearing, you know, uh, New Zealand is a driving country. Yeah. Uh, a lot of my friends are like, even Australia for that matter. Can I tell you, we I've driven from Singapore to India. I've driven from Germany to India. You have India. no idea how much I daydream about this. Yeah. Like to drive across countries and drive to London. And it, you have to do it at some point in your life. I I'm do, telling I really you, it's like to. a bucket list stick that you must have. 
because it is incredible how you go through those different locations you know how culture changes topography changes language changes yeah. and and it's just so wonderful how how how, how much time did you spend so uh, germany to india was 30 days uh, okay. singapore to india also that was because we were doing a governmental thing it was a sark countries so, right. and we did asean and sark both right. so because we were going through all the asean countries and all the sark countries and not doing it directly okay. it was about a 30 32 day trip both times okay but technically if you want to drive like literally from bombay to singapore you can do it in 10 days oh wow okay yeah. and uh, tell me you studied business i believe in I studied Purdue, business. and and then you came back to acting so how did that that happen so i i mean i grew up around kids from business families and and you know in uh, malayalam there was no sort of historically there was no second generation actor yeah. it, was, it was almost like uh, uh, frowned upon like you you didn't think it's possible yeah. so i didn't think that was a mm. an option uh, so the next best influence but acting was a passion and i love cinema and like okay. I, i guess like how our dads are influences in cars yeah. you just want to be do everything like him you know okay and not just the acting part but i i used to love how much like respect he had that okay. people had for him yeah uh, even within our family and stuff and i, I think you kind of uh, want to be like that one day like when you grow up okay uh, so I, I, and i kept running away from it uh, so i went to b school because all my friends were from business families everybody went to business yeah. school uh, in a way it it, it helped uh, like i do yeah. a lot of uh, investments and stuff like that yeah. uh so it's it's not it's not wasted not wasted yeah, yeah. and i tried my uh, hand at startups and when i came back from college and then i was working in dubai and a lot of the times it was just like this 9 to 5 gig yeah and i was not motivated to go to work i couldn't wait for work to get over i started making short films with some friends of mine okay and i was like this doesn't feel like work yeah you know it's so dynamic and there's so many people involved and yeah. i was like i just want to be around cinema in some form like either i direct or Yeah. Uh, this is the world that I want to be in. Yeah. Uh and then I think I was I think I was just always trying to overcome my fears and I was like the one thing that scares me the most is acting because of comparison. Yeah. Uh, it's so it's a shadow you live. Sh- exactly. Yeah. So then I was like I'm that's what I want to try and do. And I had this weird fear that you know one day I'll be 40 and I'll regret all of this if not trying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so I took that plunge. Yeah. I, in fact I came to Bombay came to acting school at Barija. Oh okay. Yeah. So you're familiar with Bombay, Bombay? Yeah, yeah. I spent. I I lived here for almost seven eight months, wow, and uh, I think from college time I've been coming because of friends here and stuff. What do you love about Bombay? I just like the energy. Yeah. You know, and I like that people are so It's busy. Twenty four seven. Yeah, and they don't have time to sit and judge and all this nonsense. Yeah. Oh. Whereas the smaller towns are so uh, in each other's lives and constantly. Yeah, and bothered. And yeah. bothered and talking about each other yeah. and. I think somewhere here. I am what I love about Bombay is that as a woman I have no fear I drive home at 3 in the morning yeah, and yeah, nothing worries me you know so uh, They want us to change and me to drive okay. so I'll drive Hey wait a minute wait a moment hai Okay okay sir I mean I'm in English Okay thanks. we just change kar rahe driver change Okay so change of role now Yeah <laughs> What's the fastest you ever driven? I think uh, 270, 280. Uh, I mean, <laughs> but uh, not not really track that much. Okay. Uh, so I think I think I, I do want to do all of that, and I keep making these grand plans to do these things. But like eventually, I'm just pulled in some direction by some film or the other. Yeah, you should go to a track now. Narain setting up a track now, going to talk. Ah, right, right, right. No, we have one in Chennai. Like uh-huh. even that, I don't, yeah. I don't seem to find the time because all the time my friends are going and. Chennai track uh-huh. is where I did my first few races. Oh yeah. It's a special track. Okay. But I think it's one of the nicest tracks actually because it's more technical. Both is very free flowing and. Right. It's you know it's fast corners, so it's not as much fun. Yeah, yeah. Because it's more about speed than. Chennai is very very technical. What what would you race that time? The Fismis um, or Fismis. Yeah, I've driven one of those. So Maruti I, I grew up 800, around <laughs> Fismis. <laughs> I grew up around uh, yeah. Karun and Vicky Chandra. Oh, okay. Yeah, like Karun and me have been like besties in the age of seven. Okay, so so, so that, that's also he was in. That first trip from uh, India to Singapore that I did was thanks to Vicky. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Because they were organizing the ASEAN at that point of time. Okay. And he said, "Listen, we want some women drivers. Yeah, you're coming." <laughs> I said, "I'm coming. I'm on." 
He's so sweet. He's yeah, like, he's a great guy. And I've raced and rallied against him, and right. we've been in the same like competitive <laughs> stages and stuff like that. So it's been off, off quite a lot of fun. So again, the school days, you know, I used to see, and they used to prep the cars earlier in a sort of workshop next to the house. Yeah. Uh, and then later moved to a bigger facility. Uh, so we've all been around it, you know, and, and he's always just, he's like, uh, Look, just, yeah, just jump in, go drive this. Yeah. Uh, you know, and he put me in a fist me when I was the track once, and he's like, uh, So I went in for a quick few laps and I came back. He's, yeah. like, he's like, Why did you come back? I was going to start timing you. Yeah. yeah. I was like, No, I don't want to break anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've also been kind of collecting in series, mm -hmm. so I have a lot of the 80s BMWs. Oh, lovely. Uh, E28, C30s, yeah. E34s. Oh, uh, lovely. All lovely. of those. I have uh, a those are the, the Those are the true. True BMWs, right? Yeah, like, and the true driving cars. Yeah. yeah. You know, they were just so raw and edgy. And so and much engine noise. And engine it's noise. It's not exhaust. It's like, even the steering. Yeah. There's a feel on that steering, you know, it's just amazing. Right, so, I mean, it's been taking time to restore. Uh, I have a whole series of the M3s. The, E36, 46, 92. Oh, nice. Uh, 911s, I have a 996, 997, 991. Lovely. I have a 74 Targa that I'm restoring. You know the car from the movie Shan? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Targa. Oh, okay. So I'm restoring yeah. that. A uh, uh, whole bunch of the SUVs. So, like, again, Land Cruiser, 40, 60, 80, 100. Uh, nice. So you're like a mini collection. I, and everything, you know, like yeah. I have like a, a Volvo station wagon. Where uh, do you take them out and drive them? So that's the tricky part. Like in Kerala, whenever I, I take them out, so I, I usually go in groups and yeah. I, try, I try to group the cars yeah. kind of like according to similar power or yeah. type of car or whatever. And we go in a bunch, like a bunch of us friends. <coughs> we'll have walkies and stuff. Uh, but it attracts attention, you know, and people are always chasing us and stuff. I mean, and you can't be a star and not yeah. attract attention. <laughs> so, that's so the now, tough part. Now, every time I'm buying something new, I'm like, I can't do loud colors anymore yeah. because I'm just calling out for attention. People are yeah. first going to look at the car yeah. and then see who's in the car. Yeah.